Drunk and Drunk and Fun. Another fucking fun, drunk drunk episode coming to you. Courtesy of Drunk and Fun. And then your life's word could have been ahead of you. <laughs> Tom and Joe from Drunk and the Sun. Join us every week on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Spotify. Yeah. Podcast that's about anything and everything under the sun. Check it out. Joe's drunk. Yeah. We both are fucking drunk. Stop it. Hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Tonight, we're going to be talking about wrestling. I don't know. I think it's probably the part that we've done wrestling three times, you know? Or I think so, too. I'm right there with you. I think I'm sick of talking about the NWO. I'm sick of talking about mankind getting thrown through a fucking cage. That's, that's what I talk about every time I talk about wrestling. Well, it's a good, it's a good time, though. So. But I tell you what, man, fucking like I watch that Ring of Honor shit. You know, That's I dope. haven't seen Ring of Honor. Dope. I I haven't seen Ring of Honor, but I have seen Impact. Have you seen Impact? No. All right. Well, let's hear about um. Ring oh of yeah, Honor. TNA Impact. No, no, no. It's different. It's different. From what I understand, I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. I thought TNA Impact was the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. But Impact, it's just Impact. But anyways, let's hear about Ring of huh. Honor. Who's oh, Ring of Honor, is <laughs> crazy dude. It's not WWS. Yeah. Status. Is there anybody you know on there? Yeah, the Black Macho Man. <laughs> the Black What the fuck? Yeah, he was Black Macho Man. <laughs> on he was on WCW. He, <laughs> they call him something else. They call him something else. They call him something else. The I can't Black remember that. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah. I've uh, never heard of that. But he he's called something else now. But he was on. He's on there. Fucking. But dude, these dudes and these chicks. These chicks on there take bumps like a motherfucker. Like, they take bumps like a fucking dude would take a bump. Oh, yeah. It's fucking crazy. Oh, that's awesome. They're, it's pretty badass, but it's, it's it's lower level shit. It is. To me, it reminds me of ECW. ECW. It okay. reminds me of ECW without the extreme shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, okay. Well, Impact, I noticed, is it's, it's lower too, but I recognized people. I noticed at least three people that I'd seen in the past. And funny you brought it up. They're all ECW guys. Really? Yeah. I saw Tommy Dreamer. He's oh, got shit. he gotten fatter. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Rob Van Dam. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, That's one of my favorites. He he was awesome. But Is he, he fatter looks like too? he's older, fatter, and looks like he probably was on cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, His nose is destroyed. And, and then Rhino. Oh, Rhino was on Rhino it? was the only one I actually saw wrestle. The other two were just like talk back yeah. and all that. Yeah. Dreamer did wrestle at the end of the night, but I changed the channel by then. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I was like, fat Dreamer? Like, I don't know. Like, he was never ripped or anything, but he was fatter. Yeah. Well, not super fat or anything, but but yeah, Rhino <laughs> Rhino's still had it. I was surprised. Rhino was still pretty good. Really? I think he won the match that I watched. Really? Yeah. That's tight. Yeah. So it's funny how they crop up now and then. You know, Sting was in that uh, TNA for a while. Jeff yeah. Hardy went to TNA. Yeah. And came back. But. <laughs> because this man runs it all. Yeah. Well, we... He's like, you want real money? Come here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? That's why they always go back to the WWE. Yeah, more money. It's fucking funny. Have you seen that Dark Side of the Ring that Vice does? I, no. I started watching one on YouTube. I didn't finish it. Uh, which one was it? I don't know. It was about Chris Wall. I watched both of those. I, didn't I thought it. they were amazing. <laughs> I, I didn't finish it. I thought it was amazing behind the scenes. I really liked the two part Chris Wall. And I watched the Montreal Screwjob stuff on there. Really? Yeah, they had one That's of them on there? there. Yeah. That's nice. So I got a little bit educated. And Scott Hall thinks everybody was in on it, apparently. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, he was like, look at this. There's no way that the camera didn't pan away from him writing WCW and how it zoomed in on Vince McMahon when he got spit in the face. Like, really? He, he was like, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like everybody's in on it. Really? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and and then I, I I got the impression that both of them were everybody was just being a bunch of whiny bitches, in the end, because Bret Hart, yes, he was in his hometown, he didn't want to go out that way. Yeah, but Bret Hart was a whiny bitch. <laughs> like it was, it's all tra- ego. It's tra- it was tradition to give up your belt on your last episode. Yes, 
And Bret Hart didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do it. He was an asshole. So, like... Yeah, but at was... the same time, it was an asshole-ish move for Vince McMahon knowing that... Yeah. It was going to be in Montreal, and this is Bret's last match. It will, and the way they put him out at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. Like, it was absolutely... Like, I don't blame Shawn Michaels. I blame Vince McMahon and Bret Hart. Oh, both. Yeah. I blame both of them for that. It's Bret Hart's fault, fault too. Yeah, because he's right. And, and that's the that's thing, because Bret Hart was a fucking egotistical yeah, asshole. Yeah, he didn't want to go out that way. He didn't way. want to go out Even that way. Even though it was always done that it's way. It's always done that way. It's like, you've got to go out. Yeah. But then Vince McMahon said, oh, you don't want to go out that way? Fuck you. It's going to be in your home fucking town. Yeah. You know what I mean? So those are the two people I blame for that. Yeah. I do not blame Shawn Michaels. Not one bit. Because Shawn Michaels yeah. is doing his job. Shawn Michaels is doing his job. But Yeah, he was. But part of the reason that Brett didn't want to go that way because he didn't respect Shawn Michaels. Yeah. He didn't think Shawn was but ready Shawn, for that Shawn, shit. at that point, Shawn had earned his stripes, in my opinion. And I think he'd already had the championship belt once, hadn't he? I think he beat I Bret Hart for the belt. Maybe, because they, they had a rivalry going. Yeah. Maybe, I don't remember. I don't remember. But, I, but Shawn Michaels is definitely... At that point, the same level as Bret Hart, in my opinion. Because mm -hmm. Bret Hart, to me, was never really a fucking, woo, superstar guy. You know what I'm saying? I liked like, him when he, when I, when I, I knew never him, really I liked him. him. I never really liked Bret Hart. I always thought he was a little jerkwad with his stupid fucking sunglasses. And his he's stupid, a hitman, Tom. He was, hitman. But he wasn't a hitman of shit. <laughs> the fuck this hitman? And I, and, I, and I liked Sting better at the time. And I was like, he stole Sting's move. The fucking Scorpion <laughs> Deathlock yeah. and Sharpshooter. The same fucking move. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I hated him. him. They were NWO, him. baby. <laughs> I think Hulk Hogan. I think Hulk Hogan turning bad was the best thing he'd done for his career. I loved it. I thought it you was know, a genius. Yeah. It was, see, a pre it was a pretty genius move, especially when he was the biggest baby face in history of all time. Of all time and then he's... Hollywood Hogan and yeah. turns on. He's yeah. bad. He starts being mean. Now, did you watch that when pain. it happened? No, I saw the Monday Night Nitro Afterwards. the night after when it was live. Oh, uh -huh. and because they said because I watched leading up to it. Yeah, I saw the night I was because I was used to watch wrestling with my grandparents. Yeah, and we watch, and my grandfather loved WCW. He loved it more than WWF. Yeah, and I we we watch WCW, and that's why I like Stink because of WCW. Yeah. And fucking uh, one night we were watching it, and Scott Hall showed up. Well, he showed up. We're like, what the fuck? But did because, you recall him from WWF? Yes, I did because I liked uh -huh. I like WWF as well. He was Razor Ramon. Yeah, you know, I'm like this Razor Ramon. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Was, I never. I, I didn't watch it. The same time. with same with Kevin Nash. Yeah. And, and they led up to like we got three. We got one more guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and, and it was Lex Luger, Macho Man, and Sting versus the Outsiders. Yeah. And I love the Outsiders. Like these, they didn't have this yet. They didn't have that yet. <laughs> yeah. and, and I was like, these dudes are fucking badass because they showed up and just yeah. beat the fuck out of everyone. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is awesome. And then fucking it led up. To that Sunday, yeah, and then my grandpa was like, "Oh, we're gonna see who the third yeah. man was," and then it turned out to be Hulk Hogan. Oh my! And God. everybody in my house was like, "What?" <laughs> everybody, <laughs> just jaws dropped, oh right? And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> it's awesome." <laughs> I remember you telling me about I that I had shit. an NWO shirt. <laughs> I remember you telling me about it, all the stories from WCW and Hulk Hogan turning bad, and I'm like, what in the fuck? It was awesome. Because I hadn't seen it in forever, yeah. and I was like, I I fell into it like they were knee-deep in the Sting Hogan shit going on. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. This oh, is with really his cool. crow? Yeah, with the crow shit going yeah. on. I, that was amazing. It drew me in. I loved it. I thought it was I awesome. I, it. I became a huge Sting fan after that. Yeah. See, I liked Sting in the beginning when he turned Crow, yeah. but I didn't like him when he fought Hogan. <laughs> like, I watched that match. I did, too. Live. Because uh, my dad and... Uh, I think I got it, too, but I don't know where I watched it. See, I watched it at my dad's his wife's 
dad's house. Yeah. And I went there with the NWO shirt on. Oh, shit. I had the NWO. I'm like, <laughs> I'm Hulk every- Hogan, baby. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to win this shit. But and then Hogan didn't win it. He did. He, he did. won it. He I'm won like, it. yes. <laughs> I jumped up. I was like, yes. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't say that, but I was just like, <laughs> yes. And he then won. Bret Hart came in. Yeah. He, and then beat up Nick Patrick. Yeah. And then said, one, two, three, with Sting. I'm like, what? Exactly. I'm like, that's how this is going to play out? I was, was so mad. But it was dude. right after the screw job. Yeah. It was right after the screw yeah. job. He came in. He couldn't. And he screwed Hogan. And he couldn't contract contractually wrestle yet. So that's why they pulled that shit. But the ref was supposed to have a fast three count for Hogan. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was no, not a fast. It was one, <laughs> two, three. It was a legit. It count. was a legit count. And it was a straight legit count, and I remember that till this day. I, I was like, like he, yes, he just won legit. He like, just won. I yeah. saw it legit, and yeah. and then everybody the next night they're like the fast count referee, and then Bret Hart comes in. And I'm yeah. like, are you watching the same shit I did? <laughs> yeah, because that was not a fast count. Yeah, I know. And I was thinking the same thing. I, because because once it happened, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna let Hogan keep the title. Yeah, like that's what I thought. I was like, they're keep, they're letting him keep the title. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome, <laughs> right? I'm like, this is a shit. And then no, nope. yeah, Nick Patrick gets beat up by Bret Hart. Yeah, gets thrown out of the ring, and yep. then Bret Hart, and then Sting puts a. Yep. That's when he puts the sharpshooter on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Sting puts the sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, Scorpion Deathlock, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then fucking, it was it's over. Like, because he doesn't even tap out, though. No, I don't think he does. He, he doesn't. And I don't he's think just he like, does. ring the bell. And he ringed the bell, yeah. yeah. I was pissed. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then they had the rematch the night after. and Try to pull some bullshit after that. WCW just went downhill after that. It went downhill such, fast after they, that. They had such a buildup to this, what was going to be amazing. And it really stuck. wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Like, Sting and Hogan both really weren't there that night. You know what I mean? Like, it was supposed to be a buildup to that great climax yeah, exactly. of Sting it, taking it over, yeah. right? And, and it wasn't. No. They did, and like, a couple box- chop chops. <laughs> Slammed each other a couple times. Yeah. I'm like, this is it? It was like old men in the room. Ah, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was not good. And then the botched ending. It was even more <laughs> fucked up. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, yes, my guy won. Yeah. yeah. Somewhat. You know, it was so. And what I hated was the wolf pack. I did. Too. I hated when they split up and there I was hate, a wolf pack. I did too. I that was another dumb move. It was terrible. Like, like and why did Sting join the NWO? Yeah. It was the NWO. Yeah. Regardless. The, of the biggest. The biggest thing that the the biggest thing that I think WCW fucked up with. They should have kept one. The NWO should have been kept at no more than five members. They got no free, more. It, it took over the entire fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody was NWO. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. It was like this is stupid, like, because it was it was to me like NWO first came on it was like gang war. Yeah, I was like this is cool. Yeah, you know. It's and like, then it became. And then it became like we're taking over. And like okay, that's cool. But then you should have someone stop it. And then it fucking, and it just never got stopped. <laughs> it never got stopped. Sting's just watching it in the rafters. <laughs> you know, still, like aren't you the champion? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> But the the NWO when it got really big, I felt was a bad downfall. Like when it oh, split yeah. factions, yes. it was the Wolfpack and all that. I think NWO been, should have been kept small, and like it, it would have been as, better. As soon as Starcade '97 was over, the whole place went downhill. Yeah, at, at that point, it yeah. was just over. They, at that point, they should have had fucking all the ranks jump ship over to the WCW, yeah. and then keep only like certain mem- like keep four or five members. I mean, NWO. That they would keep, have made sense. They, yeah. keep, they keep causing trouble. You know what I mean? Like, it would, have been, it would have been better. Instead, they were just like, nope, NWO is still here, and we're getting bigger. <laughs> like, Fuck. But we're all good guys now. We're all bad. Yeah. yeah. We're all bad good guys. Yeah. We're all bad good guys. <laughs> Cone answer them, gang signs up. Yeah. It's a fuck. The crow sting talks again. But in my opinion, he was kind yeah. of annoying. He was <laughs> really annoying. He's like, what's up, y'all? <laughs> you know what? And I hated Goldberg, too. I hated I Goldberg, I can't too. stand him. He wasn't, like, ripped or, like, yeah. fucking massive. He was just, like, he looks he looks beastly. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, he had that look. Yeah. But he wasn't, like, 
He wasn't Hulk Hogan size. No. He wasn't ripped like Shawn Michaels. Yeah. He wasn't Ultimate Warrior ripped. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't like that. Right. And he had one fucking move, <laughs> and I hated it. And then he stole the jackhammer from, uh, what the fuck was that wrestler's name? He fought with fucking the Sub-Zero looking motherfucker Glacier all the time. I don't know, but he had a move where... He, Goldberg turned it into the jackhammer. Okay. So you it's like I mean? a sharpshooter in Death Walk. No, the jackhammer is when you pick him up. Oh, no, I, I know what the jackhammer is. Yeah. Oh, no, you're saying like the similarities. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hated Goldberg. All right. And it was ridiculous. Every time he'd come in, you'd get like... Uh, I'd say fucking 20 minutes <laughs> for his intro. Yeah. And they would always say, well, he's 10-0 and 0 this week. And then the next week, he'd be like 25-0. and 0. Like he fought 15 times between now yeah. and then. <laughs> well, the thing that pissed me off about it, it took like a good five minutes to get to the ring. And the match was over within 15 seconds. Yeah. They oh, said... Yeah. Say ding ding boom spear and then the fireworks kick off again another five minutes. I'm like, what in the fuck? Yeah, but I mean to put him over there in WCW. I hated it. him. I think we cut wrestling for a third time. I think so, I think so too. Sorta. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. A thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk on the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.